how gratifying is it this spring to be able to, to be full go after, you know, this time last year, still kind of being limited? Uh, just how glad are you to be out there and, and being able to perform? Uh, definitely a blessing just to be out there to uh, get a spring to go through because I've never been through a spring before. And then finally get like an all season to go through here, uh, fully healthy, uh, gaining confidence back. So that's, that's definitely been the biggest thing. What's the adjustment been like actually getting to go through spring this time? Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely a little different. I've never been through a spring before, so this is my first spring going through. So just being able to have another time, like another, and I don't really know how to put it, another, another phase to kind of learn the defense and get more comfortable, and like I said, gain more confidence in my knee. When you transferred here this probably now you drew it up the, thus far with the injuries and the and kind of battling through stuff. What what have you learned kind of about yourself and, and Georgia throughout this whole process? Uh, basically, I just learned patience and. Uh, then uh, just trusting, just, just trusting that um, the plan that somebody got for me is bigger than what uh, I had planned for myself, and not getting down on myself. So the biggest thing I learned was patience. We talked to you a couple times last year during the season. You talked about getting more and more comfortable. Can you remember a point where you really felt like, okay, I'm back to where I want to be as far as with the knee? Um, the biggest thing I think I was, I, I think I started getting back towards myself and towards the end of the season, like late in the season. Uh, the biggest thing was just being able to come out my brace and then finally trusting it like that, coming out the brace. How big was it to be able to contribute like you did? Got some starts along the way, getting getting a play on that defense last year. Uh, definitely just wanted to help the team any way possible. Uh, whatever my role was last year, just trying to play it to my best ability. You guys, uh, you know, one of the games you, games you started was the Missouri game last year. Now you got a dude that was standing across the on the other side playing on the same team now with Dominic Lovett. What have you seen out of him? And um, you know, what, did you see the same guy that you studied on film last year getting ready for that game? No, yeah, definitely see the same guy. Um, Real fast, so, so definitely see the same guy that we've seen in Missouri. Proud of the way he coming along and been adjusting to the offense. So what what is what does your role look like this year? Um, I, I guess we're hearing that um, a board might be playing more safety. Are you still working at the star? Is that? Uh, I can't really speak on my role right now as far as like, because that's a coach's decision at the end of the day. So I know we got a lot of good guys in the back end, so we just uh, been rotating guys everywhere to see where who best fit where. What's the motivation like to try to you know continue to contribute and to show you know again like I said this is your first spring you're going through to show the coaches you're you're ready to contribute again this year. Uh, so yeah, my biggest thing is like I said, my daughter back at home kind of keep me going and my, that's my motivation. So I got to make sure I'm in a position to be able to feed her. What have you seen uh, from Jonell going through his first spring and, and getting just the college back? Uh, Jonell, real good player, physical. Uh, proud of the way he coming along like that. Um, like I said, a real good player, smart, uh, get out breaks, smooth. So proud of the way he coming along and the way he working. I, mean, yeah, I was gonna say, how important is it for you to show coaches, um, you know, what you can bring to the table, so they have some flexibility if they want to move, uh, you know, Javon or someone else around to, to make sure that you're, you're on the field. So yeah, like I said, just uh, being able to help the team any way possible. So uh, just trying to do my best to, uh, to show that I was um, that I got the confidence back in my knee and I'm ready to go. So like I said, just uh, trying. Play my role, whatever my role is, best as possible for the team. What ways do you want to get better this spring? Um, the ways I've been trying to get better this spring. So uh, first, I had to uh, make sure I was in the best shape to be able to go through the spring, and then uh, just basically uh, take on that leader role in the DB room. Bands. I'm the older guy in the room this year with Chris Smith going. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Like more becoming more of a vocal leader. A couple of weeks ago, Kamari talked about how wild it is that he you know, kind of turned around all of a sudden. He's one of the older guys in the room. Right. What, what's that like for you? That you know you were transferring all of a sudden. Now you're one of the veteran guys in that room. No, yeah, time definitely flew. Like uh, me and Kamari came in together in that 2021 summer. So uh, just being able to see him grow, and then like I said, time definitely flying. So from us not being able, like we ain't really had to be vocal guys because at that time it was um, Amir Speed, Louis Seen, Chris Smith, and all of them in the room. And to now all of them going. So uh, just. I stepped up into that role and then uh, trying to lead the, uh, the younger guys on and let them and show them the way. Talking about seeing Kamari grow, what ways do you feel like you've seen him grow in the time since you've been here? Probably as an all around player first, um, him getting bigger, stronger, and then just the way he's been playing and confidence, like his confidence to the roof. So I love, definitely love the way how Kamari play. <laughs> Back in, what, what ways do you and Javon kind of feed off each other? Kind of what's it like to play with that guy? Uh, <laughs> uh, definitely. That's 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 my dog. Like, that's one of the guys that like me and him real tight in the back. And so uh, basically, we just feed off each other energy, and uh, basically we get each other going. Uh, like so, like the last couple practices that we've been starting off, we just been starting off uh, jumping up, tapping each other in the head. Me, him, Malachi starts, and then just uh, just being able to go out there and, and then make plays. That's been the biggest thing. You talk about that like, volume too. I mean, and, and, and the way he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he's one of the biggest hitters on the team. <laughs> 
So like I said, I think he got the leverage with him not being a bigger guy, but he got the leverage to kind of hit somebody underneath the chin. So, um, yeah, he's a physical player. You talk about that bond, but, I mean, there probably wasn't a whole lot of opportunities for you guys to share the field last year here right. and there, maybe. What's it like, you know, with him, Kirby says working at safety, what's it like actually having a chance to be out there with him at the same time and communicate and do those things with y'all being so close? Uh, well, us being out there at the same time, being that we both play, we both play similar positions uh, and play like uh, rotating for between back uh, between star and safety. Um, just us being able to be on the same page, knowing what kind of call with, uh, to make when we see certain formations, and then know how each other thinking and how we gonna play it. Are you playing safety too? Uh, been, we had everybody in the back end been uh, just rotating around. How important is that to have guys that you know can play different positions? That can... Yeah, that's very important just to show uh, your versatility and uh, show you what value you bring to the team. Thank you. How, I guess, eager, I don't know if that's the right word, but you obviously came in with a lot of a lot of hype and flair, you know, West Virginia, All-American. How eager are you to show Georgia just kind of what, what you're all about now that you've got that confidence in the spring behind you? Um, I'm not really, like, uh, focusing on the past, not trying to get back to the player I was, just trying to uh, be the best version of myself now and then kind of, and kind of like I said, um, help the team any way possible. Going back to January when you guys won the championship, how quickly did it flip to, all right, you know, got to get back to work, start getting ready for 2023? Uh, it, flipped, it, flipped, it flipped immediately. Um, I got to spend some time with my family out there. Then it was right it was right, right back to work. And then my biggest thing was, like I said, again, confidence in my knee and being able to come out that knee brace. I mean, what does it say about you? I mean, were you, were you the missing piece? I mean, you came, you got hurt originally, but George won two national championships since you've been there. Are you the, were you the missing piece? Are you the reason it happened? No, I just think I just think the guys that was here before me kind of boarding, and then uh, the biggest thing was execution and get finishing the job. So I think they was able to do that. So that was definitely a big blessing and a good experience for me to be a part of. When were you able to? You, you, you've mentioned getting rid of the knee brace. Do you remember the day that, that you separated from that, or what? So my last time wearing a knee brace was in a uh, national championship. How are you feeling now through spring, just with the knee and what you're going through this spring? Um. I've been feeling good just uh, being able to take that toll because at first I, I wasn't, I didn't play football in a minute, so just me taking that toll on my knee and then uh, me being out of shape and uh, wasn't ready in the beginning of the season, start of the season. So uh, now just making sure I went through the winter, got, got into the best shape possible, and then, uh, like I said, still rehabbing the knee to be able to have that full confidence in it. So How the scrimmage would have been the first time you really played football, I guess, without the brace. Is that, would that be accurate? The scrimmage you had at Sanford, was that? A benchmark moment, or was there an earlier practice? Because it seemed uh, like there had to be a. a break. So yeah, uh, since the start of spring, I ain't been wearing no brace. So my last time wearing the brace was in the national championship. Different guys kind of react differently to that surgery, and and some guys get faster, some guys it takes a step. Right. What is what did what's it been like for you GPS wise, forty time wise, whatever? Have you gotten faster? Uh, so I think I think uh, beginning um, kind of still like a struggle for me because my first time back with the team was during fall camp, so. Uh, a lot of taxing on the knee. Uh, I don't think I was physically ready. And uh, then they had the confidence that I had uh, towards the end of the season that I got now. Uh, so I'm still running about the same stuff between uh, 19 miles per hour to 20. So I'm, uh, I think I'm at the same speed, so I think I'm pretty fine. When you look at this secondary group, is there anybody that you feel like <clears throat> has really stepped up as far as leading vocally? Anybody that's kind of taken on that role so far? Uh, so I think everybody's doing a good job of just basically like leading each other, uh, bringing each other along and uh, holding each other accountable. Have you have you adjusted to? Uh, I saw Malachi did an interview the other day, talking about uh, how vocal the coaches are. Have you adjusted to Kirby on the mic? I think I was at a practice. I think I might have heard your name in one of those scrimmages he let us in. Are you used to that now, or is that still no, kind of a jolt? No, I'm I'm, I'm used to that. Uh, with me, what this be my uh, what third season here, so I'm I'm kind of used to that. Um, I'm kind of not listening to the tone, kind of listening to the messages, and y'all probably did hear my name on that. Microphone last, that was what, last fall camp? I was walking on the field or something like that. So, yeah, that was, that was me. <laughs> Can you remember one of the first one of those that you know, kind of caught your attention in that room? Uh, when I first got here at 2021 uh, fall camp, uh, just me getting the reps I was getting. Um, wasn't used to the Georgia heat. Uh, with this being my first time down south, so I was kind of struggling with that heat during camp. And then the degrees, it was me. Him just calling me like, oh, you got to get him in shape and screaming all on the mic because I was tired at the couple plays. So. Yeah. <laughs> Did you uh, hook um, Jordan Davis from the Kirby Dean up with some Philadelphia knowledge? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I remember uh, as soon as JD got dragged and I texted him, like, welcome to the city and stuff like that. So uh, when I've been in the city, uh, actually, my high school, I practiced at the Philadelphia Eagles uh, facility late December. So I was back at home because they was getting ready for the state championships. So I was actually back at home. So I got to see them guys.
Got time for two more for Tucky. Did you get to take them to like the where the Rocky runs and you go run up the stairs together? Was that? <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't get to do none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Spring, spring game coming up. What can we expect from you um, next weekend? Uh, with the spring game coming up, uh, just me trying to be the best, best version of myself. Um, come out there with confidence and uh, execute the play as best as possible, and then just have a good time with the teammates and enjoy enjoy that time with that being my first spring game being able to go to. All right, thanks, Tucky. Thanks, Tucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good.